Hi everybody! Welcome back to Kona. Boy, is it ever cold out. Anyway, we're back here. I don't know if you remember last time we were here. We were watching a nice cutscene, a nice storyline, and uh, the game crashed. Actually, this game is plagued with crashes for me recently for some reason. Sometimes I can't even load the game. Anyway, I've tried uninstalling the game. I've like verified the cache and everything. This is all stuff that I meant to do, apparently, to get the game working, and with any luck, We'll see this one through, but if it keeps crashing, well, I don't know what the fuck to do. Anyway, let us walk up here, felt slowly. Pull of vision yes. It looks like the hunter shot this guy who's, I don't know, wearing some sort of like Scottish uh, quilt and he's got like antlers and he looks like an old ass man. Anyway, he's been shot through the heart with one of these flaming arrows. Oh god, okay. Let's see. Maybe this is like the end of the game. Or close to the end of the game. It feels like it's kind of close to the end of the game. Okay, now let's just like take it real slow so that the game doesn't crash again. Okay. A young woman. A young woman. Good. What a What happens when... It oh yes. like a simple hunting accident. That's right, yes. It's all flooding back. It was Hamilton, if you remember. I don't want to spoil anything, but it was definitely Hamilton. And all these people came out of their log cabins there was Hamilton, Carl to witness it. Him. Okay, Hamilton is like, oh shit, I accidentally shot a young woman. Can't believe it. Oh yeah, and then they gave it to um, La Motte. It was a, a major hunting accident. La Chance. La... La Copacabana. I can't remember his name now, but anyway, he was the guy. Oh yes. Okay, here we are in the doctor's office. The doctor examined the young woman. Yeah, she was bleeding profusely from her gunshot wound, inflicted by Hamilton himself. But uh, death couldn't be overturned. Maybe she was wearing the antlers, and that's why. Like, maybe she just had an episode. She was out in the wilderness she wearing the antlers. And then, bam, Hamilton just, like, bucked her. I mean, I would buck somebody if they were wearing antlers as well. But that's just me. I'm not Hamilton. Okay, and now we're at the grave. Yeah. It was not the type of body you buried in a big ceremony in the village graveyard. No, no, it wasn't. That's why they got this guy, old crazy man Malone. It had to be hidden. No one could know about this. Yeah, so they, so they, they, they dug her up, but then she was unearthed as well. The best way to do that was to have a simple-minded man bury the poor girl. Lamotte, the mechanic. That's right. Oh, yeah, it is Lamotte. Oh, yeah, and then there's this altercation as well. Hamilton was just leaving for the day, and the doctor came in and said, Give me all your gin. And he was like, I don't have any gin, you fucking scoundrel. The denied the unfair death of the young woman. But Pop. Hamilton had him in his grip. Pop. Hamilton knew all of the poet's secrets and wouldn't hesitate to reveal them. I oh. know all about your crimes, you little communist. You know mine. What a sordid affair. Yeah, what a sordid affair indeed. I'm not even touching the mouse, because I'm so scared that the game is going to crash again. I don't want any crashing to occur during this cutscene. I just want to see the whole thing through, for Christ's sake. Okay, so he leaves. Hamilton dead, and then we crash into him on the way. But us crashing into him causes... Well understood the ins and outs of the affair. Yes. A woman had been killed in an unfair accident, and a young warrior had damned himself to avenge her. Right. Okay, now there's this bit here. This is where it crashed last time, so I've, I've never seen past this point. Oh, is it still burning hot? My hands! Hamilton, the one responsible, had already been killed. And so the beast could not quench its thirst for vengeance. Oh, we took and it out. Recklessly, Carl had pulled the bolt from the beast's heart. That is a the beast. beast. Who was but a young free man lost without his fiance. Oh. Who had, out of hatred, become Wendigo. Wendigo? Uh. Okay. I mean, how do I. I need my gun? Jeez! Okay, where is my Lee Enfield rifle? Perfect. Okay, here it is. Take that. He's bulletproof. He's bulletproof! You snooze, you lose! I am Arabian! 
Ethan! Oh no! He is bulletproof, it turns out. He is Wendigo. He will not die. Oh my god. I, on the other hand, might die. Okay, let's run away from Wendigo. He's putting up an ice wall. Now this is the kind of fight I like. The one where you run away like a big puss. Shit. Okay, we might have to turn around and shoot the wolf. Okay, the wolf has been shot. Looks like the Wendigo is now chasing me all over town. Possibly into northern Manistan. Hopefully we don't just die out here. Jeez, there's another wolf. Okay, no problem. I've got I've got I got the aim required for these. Whoa, what a shot. I bet you the Wendigo is like, no, not my children, not my wolf children. How could you? You're not meant to be able to aim this well, Carl. Not out here in the cold. Oh my lord, there's a lot of wolves. Okay, wolves. Oh god, that hurts. It hurts. I can't, I can't aim. It's a log pile. Oh, jeez. Okay, got it. Alright, run away from the Wendigo. Oh my god, there's so many wolves. I'm not too sure about all this. Oh god, okay, not that way then. Sure. Keep going, Carl. You're so close to the end now, we're gonna get all the way into the town, I can just feel it. Whoa, what is that bullshit move, wolf? Oh, there's two of them now. Okay, one's dead. Luckily I have, like, infinite ammo, it seems, because I'm needing it. Okay, we're just gonna shoot all the dogs, and we're gonna keep running away from the Wendigo. Hey, so far so good! I don't- I mean, I don't wanna, like, I don't wanna fucking jinx it, but... The game has not crashed, and the Wendigo is now chasing me to the ends of the earth. Carl was running away from the Wendigo. Really fucking scared, it turns out, because, well, this isn't something that happens every goddamn day. Not by any stretch of imagination. When was the last time you got chased by a Wendigo through a frozen forest? Oh shit, look who we got here. More frozen people. The cemetery, of course. Here we go, we're having a showdown in the cemetery with the Wendigo, who's just slowly walking after me. Oh my god, okay, this is where we make our last stand. This looks like the place. Get out of here, dog. Okay, maybe it's like through here, actually. It looks like there's a whole trail of people. There's more people in Manistan than I thought there would be. But there we go. Are we through? Kind of? Oh! Hey! Yes, but for how long indeed. Okay, now we have to go down these steps. I can hear him back there. I've lost my snowmobile now as well. Okay, maybe we just have to seek refuge in a cave. God, he is really, really angry. He's really angry. Okay, we're almost dead as well. I, I don't know if we make this. We really need a fire, like, lickety split. Is this a train Complaining station? Complaining was not in Carl's nature. It would take more than light injuries to interrupt his investigation. Right, okay. I mean, there's a light over here. Hey, look. Canadian National. The old railway. My favorite. Okay, I think we probably have to flick this somehow. Okay, I'm wrong, it turns out. There's no, f there's no flicking of that happening here at all. It turns out. Can I get into here? Yes, I can. Good. Of course, yeah, it's to pick up logs. Remember I was- I had a big old rant about this, like, a while back. About, you know, logging towns and Canada and... Just general log- what is that noise? Hey, the generator's actually on. Whoa! Wendigo! How did you find me? Oh god, okay. Use the phone, Carl. Get pick up a pencil or POP! How did he get so close? I am dead, aren't I? I mean there's no way. Or maybe he's meant to do this to you. Hello? No, okay, yeah, I just died. How did he What the hell? <laughs> what do I do there? Oh, for Christ's sake. Not the cemetery. Not the cemetery again. Jeez, we gotta run all the way down here again? I was trying to use the phone, Wendigo! 
fuck, maybe I just took too long. Like, maybe I just have to keep running into the town or something. Maybe he's scared of civilization. That's why he's, like, out here in the cold. Oh, for Christ's sake. Okay. Let's keep now running. Passive sheltered him, but for how long? Okay, good. Not for long, it turns out. All right, let's make a run for it. This time without the gun. Maybe we run much faster without our gun. Looks like we just keep running out of stamina. That's not helping things either. Like we need to be running super fast. Scratches okay. Scratches did not stop Carl. His hey, what? mother would be so proud. Oh yeah, no, I, I'm I scratched up like big time. Maybe I need to like fucking. Oh my god, yeah, I am. Okay, hang on a second. Let me just have a first aid quick. Okay. Good. My mother would be even prouder now that she's seen this happen. Me taking first aid. I, I should put my flashlight on, realistically. Like, that could be a good thing, too. Okay, so it was in here. We go in here, and then we, like, we want to close the door and lock it. But it doesn't matter, because actually he's going to come from over here. So maybe we have to go down into the Wata? I'm thinking, like, possibly. He's, okay, he's right there. Okay, now what, though? Okay, across, oh, into the boat, I see. All right, Wendigo, we're out of here. Peace. He, he's never gonna chase us across the river, is he? Oh, okay, good. Bow. Okay, so what we are dealing with here turns out to be some sort of slow-moving Wendigo. When disappeared, so did Purity. I would defend Purity against the winds the tides against ice and blizzard right is this the end of the Could game it be that all this was but a story of justice and vengeance well, i mean it could the be doctor, avenging his fiance's unjust death by avenging this young woman as though she was his lover oh yeah i never thought about it that way Are i these mean passionate feelings not precisely the kind of feelings that could cause a storm Petrify people deep inside. Create monsters. Well, traditionally no, I would say, but I mean, you never know. I mean this Oh. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Uh Yeah! I mean, sure, <laughs> it could, yeah. I mean when somebody loves somebody very much and they're they're upset about it or whatever, then yeah, bam! Wendigo and the and the cold and stuff. I mean, I get I. Okay, well, well, listen. It turns out that everything was wrapped up, kinda. Like we found out what happened with the murders and stuff. Um, we we know why there is like a sinister storm because it was the Wendigo and apparently another thing we learned today is that. You cannot shoot a Wendigo, okay? But you can shoot ghost wolves, no problem. Well, there we go. I mean, that was Kona. Um, I did enjoy it. I'm not too sure about the ending. I'll be honest. I, I thought maybe the ending could have been a bit better. But, you know, for what it was, it was pretty good. And I and I enjoyed playing it. I had a really nice time playing it. And I'm glad I finished it as well. It was, it was great. It was good. Excellent. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Sorry about all of the problems. I'm, I'm just glad that I managed to play through it at the end here without it crashing again. That was a good one. All right. Well, on to something else, I guess. Um, we are going to move on and play something else. What are we going to play? I have no idea. We'll figure it out. Uh, but until then, I thank you very much for watching as usual. Um, if you joined me at the beginning of this and watched it all the way through to the end, let me know what you think. I thought it was pretty cool, but I could, I'd understand if some people thought that maybe the ending was a bit lacking or whatever, because honestly, I feel a little bit that way as well. But overall, I think it was a cool game. I'm glad I played through it. And if you did join me, uh, for the entire journey, I thank you very much. Oh, hey, maybe there's more. Maybe there's more. Look, I'm back. Look, I'm playing still. It doesn't look like we're getting... Oh, we are! Oh, shit. You know, sometimes I just, like, stop mid-credits, but this time I'm kind of glad I didn't. Uh, hey, Jim. Um, yeah, there's a Wendy. Go back there. Um... Un survivor. On a trouvé un survivor. Yeah, it's me. Oh. Yeah. No. 
They can't believe it. They found a survivor. Ah, uh, shit. I thought there might have been a little bit more, but no. Okay, there's... <laughs> they're just like, oh my god, I can't believe I found a survivor. All right, well, anyway. Um, thank you very much for watching this. Thank you for uh, joining me on this uh, fun little adventure. Like I said, we'll move on to something else uh, next. And uh, stay tuned for that. And as usual, thanks for watching and... I'll see you soon!